Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about wintry Christmas reads. So in this first part of the video, I'm going to share with you winter books that I have read that I definitely suggest. And then the second half is going to be winter books that I haven't read that are on my to read list, just in case you need some ideas for winter books to put on your to read list. So first for the winter books that I have read, this first one is not actually one that is all about Christmas, but it definitely takes place during the winter time. And I just think it is a great winter read. And that is The Fairy Ring by Kiki Hamilton. This is such an underrated book. It is so amazing. A great young adult and it is about fairies but it's done so differently from other fairy books it's just incredible so definitely check it out it would be perfect to read around this time of year next I have Sundays at Tiffany's by James Patterson I read this one last year around the Christmas time and maybe that's why I associate it with the winter time but I'm pretty sure this takes place during the winter um at least I know that the movie takes place during Christmas time. So next I have Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. This is a fantastic young adult novel. If you really like contemporary young adult, especially like Sarah Dessen, um, I think you'll really enjoy this book. And it takes place during the winter time. And there's a lot of snow and ice skating and stuff in this book. So yeah, perfect for the winter. These next few books that I have read are actual Christmas books, not just winter reads. And they are amazing. I recommend them to anyone. And they are books by Richard Paul Evans. He has a lot of Christmas books. And I think I read them all last year, except for one and then a new one came out this year that I haven't read yet but I think my favorite one is Finding Noel. His other Christmas books that I have read are The Christmas Box, Lost December, The Gift, Promise Me, and The Christmas List. So I seriously highly recommend all of those. They are so so good. The next recommendation I have is pretty much one that I have seen in everyone's Christmas winter book recommendations video and it is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. It takes place during the winter time and Christmas time and New Year's and it's just a warm fuzzy contemporary read so it's a really good one. This next one is a pretty random one. It is Blue Christmas by Mary Kay Andrews and it's technically part of a series but I haven't read the rest of the series. I just read this book by itself and really enjoyed it and I was able to keep up and understand what was going on so I think it's good and it's a really quick read. I'm not sure if it's considered a novella but it was pretty short. And then lastly I have A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Again this is kind of one that I'm sure everyone is suggesting but I don't even know if I read this all the way through but I know I started it and I was loving it. I'll probably read it again this year. It's just a classic and it's a great read. So now I'm just going to share with you some of the books that I want to read that have to do with Christmas and wintertime. First one is Let It Snow by three different authors. I think it's John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Laura Miracle. I actually plan on reading it this month along with this next one which is The Gift by Cecilia Ahern. I've heard it's a pretty good Christmas story so I'm looking forward to reading it. Then I have a couple of the Richard Paul Evans books that I haven't read yet. One is Grace and the other one is Winter's Dream which is the new one that came out this year. I don't think I'm going to be able to read those this year because I just have so much to read but maybe next year. Next we have The Christmas Shoes by Donna Van Leer I think is how you say her name. She has a whole series that has to do with Christmas but I just know that this is the first book and I have really been wanting to read it. I know there's some Lifetime movies that were made after the first three books in the series so I think it would be fun to read those books one year and then watch the movies. Next we have Christmas Bliss by Mary Kay Andrews and then she has another Christmas book called Midnight Clear and lastly I have The Christmas Wedding by James Patterson. Don't really know what it's about but I'm assuming it's about a Christmas wedding. Don't know just a thought. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.